constantly changing topography. Um, the um, gravel beneath under the ash and, and um, everything just seared your feet, even through the boots. And so the first time that I walked up the mountain, uh, it let out a great belch. And there was an enormous amount of smoke that came flying into the air. And so we all crouched over and were showered with, pelted with rocks. They weren't very large rocks and everyone was quite safe. Um, and it grew rather quiet for many years after that. But um, sometime in the, the summer of um, 94, I believe it was around June, in the middle of the night, a great earthquake woke all of us up. And the clear sky, as I looked out the window, all of a sudden turned black as black as your suit. And then I looked out the window to find that there was fire shooting up into the sky. And um, it, it erupted like, like fireworks. Mm. And then more fissures began to, to pop up. One, two, three, fifteen in all as the lava began to, to just burst and flame all the way down the mountain. We tried to see if we could get somewhere that it wouldn't get to. So thankfully, everyone was quite safe, but um, the sky was blackened for days. It was the most terrifyingly magnificent sight hmm. I've ever seen. You couldn't breathe for weeks. Was the air so thick? That oh, you it was so thick and so filled with sulfur, it smelled like rotting eggs. Hmm. Mm.